It's not what you want. It's who you are. In the words of Wayne Dyer, he's a motivational speaker, he's an author, he's awesome. Check him out. My name is Tracy Isidore, and I'm here to speak to you about the power of intention and about expectation. Um, I'm going to be going over some key points um, in this video. But first of all, um, you know, I want to share a little bit about me to you and why I'm here and why you're sitting here in front of this computer watching me right now and listening to the words that I speak. Um, I have been learning about personal development for 15 years. But it wasn't until the past five years that it's really made an impact in my life that I really started to see results from what I expected and what I intended for my life. And, um, you know, when we actually take the time to educate ourselves, to create an understanding, and then from that understanding, we actually apply it into our lives. And then from when we apply it into our lives, we are consistent with it. That is when we see things start to shift. We see things start to change. We start to see certain people leave our lives and certain people come and enter into our lives. We start to see opportunities arrive. We become more aware. It's creating an awareness of how powerful we are, how powerful our thoughts are, and how powerful our energy is, right? Okay, so, um, you know, the first thing I want to go through with you is, and this is actually really fascinating. I found it really fascinating. And it, it, it's, it's so true, is that the things that we expect in our lives and the things that we intend for, the intent, things that we intend to do, whether it's to buy a new car or go travel the world or, you know, live the life of luxury because, you know, we deserve it. So why not? Or to, you know, travel and see all the beaches of the world or to buy your dream home or to start that business opportunity that you've been so hesitant over. But now you just you're going to do it. You know, when we. Um, just as easy as it is to wiggle our toes or to pick up this pen and wrap our fingers around it and write down on a piece of paper, it's as easy to achieve all those things that you want for your life. Now, that might seem a little far-fetched to you that, you know, wanting, um, you know, a life of financial security is as easy as picking up a pen and writing. But the point is, is that it's as easy because when we were born as babies, we did not know how to to pick up that that rattle that was shining in front of us with all the colors and the movement and the and the sounds. We didn't know how to reach our hand and actually put our fingers around it to grab it and to hold on to it. We didn't know how to do that. We saw it and our intention was that we wanted it. But we didn't really know how we we're going to lift up our arms, reach out our hand, put our fingers around it grab it and bring it back into us. We didn't know how we were going to do that. That was something we had to learn, right? And just as we don't know how we're going to get all those things that we expect for our lives, we have to learn that with intention, we can have it. It's very powerful. This is something that you learn, um, and you, you would learn it in this book. Um, highly, highly, highly recommended. Um, the New Psycho-Cybernetics by Maxwell Maltz. Awesome, awesome book. Um, he actually, it's really interesting. He actually um, talks about how our minds and our system is set up similar to a computer, right? Um, a computer only does what you tell it to do. So it's the same thing with our systems and our bodies and our minds. Our bodies and our minds function based on what we tell it, what we feed into our mind, the thoughts that we put into our head, okay? Um, at the end of the day, um, all personal development, all law of attraction, all everything that you learn about this, 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 um, you know, this stuff that we're talking about here is based on thoughts become things. It's a simple, if you want to put it down to simple form, thoughts become things. So, you have to expect what you want and you have to intend on what you want if you want to get it into your life. And then you have to be it. You have to be it, right? Um, a great exercise that I want to share with you um, that I've learned actually from Bob Proctor. He's an awesome motivational speaker, guys. Um, we, we grow through personal development and I highly suggest that you read every day, that you watch videos, that you go to seminars and you learn from other people because we, once you think that you know it, you've completely stopped learning. You become unteachable, 
We never know everything. We have to consistently be growing. And as you grow and as you apply and as you become aware and as you are consistent with it, you'll start to see your life start to shift, okay? But this is a really easy um, thing that you can do to help to reprogram your subconscious mind to really achieve the things that you expect and you attend for your life. Grab a piece of paper, write down on a piece of paper or write it down on a card or put it in your phone somewhere where you're going to see your expectation, your goal, your intention for whatever it is that you want in your life, somewhere you're going to see it and read it on a daily basis all the time. And what happens is by reading it all the time, every day, whatever your intention is, whatever your expectation is, you'll start to form that um, the thought process into your mind. You'll start to feed your subconscious mind with what you want instead of with fear and with worry and with stress and with, you know, all these abundance of thoughts that's just passing in and out that you you don't even, can't even take control over it anymore. You want to feed it with goodness. It's like our bodies. We want to feed our bodies with healthy foods, with organic foods. We don't want to fill it with fast food and garbage and, you know, all this stuff. This stuff, no benefit to us. It's the same thing with our minds. We need to feed our minds with healthiness, right? Um, next point I want to go over with you is for the power of intention and expectation is what you give is going to be relevant to what you're getting in your life, okay? You want to give more. Give more to get more. It's like I, I, I relate it to business because I've been in business for eight years. And um, I know that if I don't invest money into my business, I'm not going to get money into my business. If I don't um, give as much as I can to my team members, to my associates, then I'm not going to get back abundance into my business, right? It's equivalent. What you give is what you get, okay? Um, very simple. And then the last point I want to go over with you is to just let go. And when I say let go, I mean remove fear from your life completely. Stop worrying. Worry stems from fear. You fear something is going to happen. You fear the unknown. And just as much as we fear things, we can expect things, right? Just as easy as something. See, because fear, most of the time when we fear things, or worry about things, we're worrying about things that are completely out of our control. We're worrying about things that haven't even happened yet. But we're creating this thought and this vision in our mind of things that could possibly go wrong. And then we start fearing it and we start worrying about it and we start stressing about it. And then it brings on anxiety and then it may bring on depression or bring on anger or bring on some kind of negative form when it makes no sense. Let it go. Throw it out the window and bring in some expectation. Bring in some belief. Bring in some faith. Bring in the visions of what you want for your life. Because just as easy as something could go bad, something could go so right. Something could go so right. Okay? So that is my message for you today. I hope that I could provide some value for you and you got something out of this. Um, you know, shoot me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. I would love to hear from you. Okay? God bless you. I wish you all the best of luck and success in your life um, on every level. Okay? Talk to you later. Ciao.